From the heart of the Limestone City in Kingston, Ontario, I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here is what's making headlines today, March 2nd, 2022. Kingston police are asking the public for help after 10 guitars were stolen from an elementary school music room. Police say sometime overnight, from February 24th to the 25th, the suspect or suspects broke into Rideau Heights Public School in the city's north end and ransacked several areas of the school, including the music room, where a number of instruments were removed from the property. Photos of the stolen guitars, including acoustic, electric, and bass guitars, can be found on our website. Anyone with information on this incident is asked to contact police. 56-year-old Mark Austin of Greater Napanee faces drug trafficking charges following an OPP search warrant on March 1st. According to a release from OPP, officers executed a search warrant at a residence on Bridge Street in Napanee, where they seized a quantity of suspected cocaine, cash, and other items typically associated with drug trafficking. Austin was released from custody and is scheduled to appear in court in Napanee in May. As of March 1st, the rules surrounding vaccine passports are changing in Ontario, including right here in the Limestone City. Effective March 1st, the city of Kingston will no longer ask residents for proof of vaccination at all municipally operated recreation and cultural facilities, including the Grand Theatre. According to a release from the city, mandatory masking requirements will remain in effect and passive screening for COVID-19 symptoms is also required. Kingston Health Sciences Center says all COVID-19 requirements will remain in place for at least the next few weeks as they continue to experience very high numbers of staff who are unable to work due to testing positive for COVID-19 themselves or having a family member at home also testing positive. Measures such as mandatory proof of vaccination, limited family presence, specific access and entry points, masking and physical distancing will continue to be required at all Kingston Health Sciences Center sites until at least the end of March. And families with young children will soon have access to a new multidisciplinary community center with a culturally focused family-centered approach right here in the Limestone City. This initiative has been brought forward through a partnership including the United Way, City of Kingston, and Family and Children's Services and is part of the provincial transformation of the child welfare system. According to the United Way, the preventative need for this integrated service model is well documented as they say they received more than 1,200 child welfare referrals last year alone. For more on these stories and other headlines or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.